Public safety in Bay City faces a potential major structural overhaul. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. Thanks for joining us tonight. Tonight, city commissioners vote on a proposal to merge police and fire services. It's a move that could save nearly $2 million in five years. NBC 25's Jane Park joining us now live in Bay City. Jane, what are residents saying about all of this? Well, Bill, it's um, some mixed opinions from the people right now. Some say it's a necessary move given the budget constraints the city is going through. Others say it's not such a good idea and uh, think it would jeopardize public safety. Now, so far, the city manager as well as the police and interim fire chiefs support this plan. Under the plan, 14 firefighters would be laid off. All the police officers would be cross-trained as firefighters. Now, the move is expected to save $1.8 million over five years. The head of the firefighters union union, however, is pushing for a different plan that calls for mutual aid agreements with nearby fire departments and the police department to be absorbed by the county sheriff's department. More of the burden is going to lay upon the police officers having to assist firefighters you know, in, in their capacity, whatever it, it's going to turn out to be. So, Do you think firemen can be police officers? Uh, I don't know. And we aren't sure whether or not the city commissioners will be discussing uh, this alternative plan before voting on the resolution. They will be meeting at 7.30 at the Pier Marquette Depot behind me. And if the proposal passes, the changes will go in effect uh, in July. And um, stay with NBC 25. We'll have the very latest for you on NBC 25 News at 11. For now, live in Bay City, Jane Park, NBC 25. Bill. All right, Jane. Thank